All right. So I figured I'd make a bit of a movement slash parkour video today, uh, focusing specifically on the promenade east here. I understand that a lot of the jumps I'm going to show you are made a little bit less valuable by the fact that there are so many tall buildings you can parachute from. However, the goal is to get to as many places as possible without parachuting, as it is quite loud and very visible. And I also didn't want to go overboard because there are a lot of places that I could jump without any specific purpose. So I'm kind of limiting it to the areas where loot crates can spawn or maybe different flanking routes through some buildings that have you know, valuable tactical use. So yeah, I figure knowledge is always valuable, so why not share? In this part of the map here, you can jump from this apartment building and that apartment building onto this one without having to open your parachute. You leap from that edge and try to land down on this little veranda here. Same from this side, that edge down onto this little veranda. Just a quick tack sprint along here, aiming for that veranda. Jumping at the last second. Same thing on this side, just a quick tack sprint along the edge, aim for that veranda, jump at the last second. In this circus area, you can get onto this building by jumping onto that hand railing, that tent, and then mantling that ledge. You can also do a similar thing to this building here. On that hand railing, onto that tent, jump to the sign, and then mantle up onto the edge. This building here is pretty common, you find it all over the map. This variant doesn't have the additional entry with the two doors and the ladder leading to them. So it can be pretty difficult to push someone that may be hiding up here, as you only have one conventional point of entry. However, there are a few others that I'll show you now. Just come around the back, climb up this ladder. From the rooftop, you can jump down onto this little platform here and mantle through that window pretty easily. You can also either jump from the roof directly onto this windowsill to go through that window or down onto this ladder, uh, this uh, fencing, sorry, to mantle through that window. On the back side, you can do a similar thing here from the rooftop or the fencing to mantle through that window. You can actually stand all along this windowsill, but I find it easier to jump from the roof than it is to jump from the fencing. On this side again, you can jump from the rooftop to here. It's a bit of a an awkward jump because you've sort of got a curve in midair. Or you can just stand there, sort of look in that direction, and then back off the roof and then land on the windowsill and walk your way in. Some of these jumps are pretty difficult. If I was going to recommend using one, it would be this one to the ledge through the window, as that is the most reliable, followed by jumping from a rooftop on either side to these windows. It's pretty awkward to get from the fencing through the windows, and the one on the back dropping down. It's pretty finicky, pretty time consuming. They make a lot of noise in one spot, so they'll probably, well, they may not expect it, but they'll know what vicinity you're in. For these two buildings here, this one, you can just climb up onto this dumpster and do a sprint jump to mantle onto that ledge. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have a permanent solution as I haven't been able to climb from here up to there because this one doesn't have a lid. There is a vehicle spawn pretty regularly, which you can use to mantle and then climb that roof.
for this little building here. You can climb up onto these, or leap across onto this sign, which you'll have to manually mantle, climb up onto the ledge. For these two buildings here, this one in particular is another one of those that are that can be difficult to get into if someone on the second floor is just camping the only point of entry, e.g. the stairwell. There are a few other options. You can leap through this window by jumping from this van onto this building and then running and leaping through said window. Obviously that's a way to get onto this rooftop as well. Additionally, you can climb onto these porta potties, jump across to this ledge here, and then jump from that ledge to smash through that window. You can also use the ladder to get to the roof to drop down onto that one, or go up to the second floor and use the window to drop down onto that rooftop as well. For this area, you can either climb from the trash can or the vending machines on top of this little building and leap across to that one. You can jump around this slanted roof from this ledge and mantle onto this edge. And from there you can stand on the pinnacle and actually leap through this window if you want an alternate entry into the second floor of that building. If you go up the ladder or the interior ladder to get onto the roof, you can also jump down onto this. From the rear here, you can climb onto the truck, onto these pallets, and make this jump to the veranda, and then enter through those two windows. For this area here, there's not a whole lot going on. You can climb onto that building if you climb the vending machine to that little pagoda and jump across. And similarly, that vending machine to that roof there. There are loot crates that spawn up there occasionally, but those are so simple I'm not even going to demonstrate them. The only other interesting thing that this building has is that from this room you can climb out onto this little ledge and leap from that ledge to that one and climb back into another room. So you can transfer between those two rooms without actually using the main corridor at the back. And you can also use those ledges if you drop down from the roof onto them and enter through those windows. That gives you a few more options to get into the upper floor of this building if you don't want to just be climbing ladders or using the main stairwell. Unfortunately for this area there doesn't seem to be a way to get onto these two buildings. I tried for a very long time to get a mantle onto this sign to get up there, but I can't seem to get that to work. And there's no other option. Can't get high enough if you're jumping off that. This one, however, has two sign entries. You can leap from these boxes and mantle that sign to climb onto the top. Very similarly, from the trash cans here to that sign to the top. For this area of the map, there's not really a whole lot going on. You can get on top of this roof by climbing onto these boxes, leaping across and mantling that sign, and then just walking up there. Once you're on top of that roof, you can go up there on the edge of the railing and jump across to there, and again you can jump around this and get on top of the pinnacle if you like. There's nowhere to go from there, so it's not really that useful. This building is so easy to access just by running up these slopes on all four sides. 
The only thing really of note is that you can smash these windows, get into the upper floor, and obviously escape out of this window, should you need to. But these big buildings, you can leap between them. So you can leap from the point of that to the lower end of this, and vice versa. So the point of that to the lower end of that. And you can jump from red down to here quite easily. Terry here has surprisingly little going on. Uh, you can get onto this building by climbing onto this car, jumping to that sign, jumping and mantling on that ledge. Or standing on this and doing a tactical sprint that way and leaping up and grabbing that ledge. And from that building you can jump to this one. There's no way to get onto these two buildings, and there's no way to get onto these three buildings. The only other thing of note here is that you can climb onto this little dip on top of that building so that you can aim down at people coming up the stairwell. That's pretty common knowledge, I imagine. Terry here is another one with surprisingly little going on. You can get on that rooftop by jumping from these porta potties or that tent to the sign and getting on top. From the top of this building, you can jump onto the top of these two as well. Luke spawns on all three, as you can see. There are a lot of platforms that look very close to letting you up, but actually don't give you enough height to make it, so that sign is the only point of entry to those rooftops. Moving in here, there's actually not a lot here either. These two balconies have a lip that connects them. This lip actually goes all the way around the building. So if you need to take shots at someone that's down here, for instance, without committing to dropping down, you can. I've actually done that in a few games. Comes in handy every now and then. This side has a ladder. The other side has a balcony. The balcony can let you up as well if you just stand on the edge and mantle up. That gives you two options to get to the roof. One a bit quicker. This building has a few points of entry. There is the... Main stairwell there, the stairwell here, the ladder on the outside here. From this little balcony, obviously, you can smash these windows and get up to the second floor. There's a door here that I learned about pretty recently, and another ladder to the roof. From the roof, there's only two things we can do. We can get on top of this. So if we happen to know that someone is you know, coming up this little ladder here, we can try and gatekeep them from above, maybe. Another option is we can drop down onto this. Gives us a bit of a different vantage point into the building, it's not great. But you can use this little ledge to smash your way through here. Another little thing I remembered, but is quite difficult to pull off, or at least it can be, is that you can use the same trick I showed you before on a building over there, and sort of aim away from where you want to be. So I'm going to aim in this direction sort of edge backwards and drop down into this room you can mantle your way in. So you can do that here, you can also do it over there. You can actually land on the whole windowsill and just stand there, but obviously that's a bit, a bit risky. But yeah, that's all for this little area. In this area here, you can get up onto this roof by jumping up onto this box and then these pallets and leaping across and mantling that ledge. You can also leap around this angled bit and mantle there from said edge and travel across onto this building. From this building you can jump straight to that building. On the ground here you can actually stand on these trash cans and jump to that sign and then mantle onto the roof. And Jump back across that way. Go through here. 
another case where you can jump from the tip the corner of red there to the corner of blue here you can get onto this building by climbing onto these boxes this one specifically jumping up to that and then mantling onto the roof And this one, you can climb on the box, onto the truck, and then up onto the roof. In this area of the map, there's actually nothing happening up here, but there are a few things down here that I can show you. So you can get on top of the service station, obviously we're jumping from the crate to that little ledge to the roof. You can also do it by jumping from the bed of the truck here to the roof of the truck and jumping from the roof to up the service station. That little trick actually comes in handy in a lot of places around the map. You can jump from this box to this, uh, the roof of this truck, climb up onto the balcony to get onto the roof of that building. You can also do it from the bed of the truck, although there's not really a need because that's the This one is pretty commonly known in that you can jump from that corner there across to this corner and you can jump from top yellow there and top blue back to that corner. You can also do that on this side. So from that corner there over to that corner and this little gutter here you can jump to. You can jump from both of those back to that corner as well. That was about to cause me some trouble. You can jump from that corner there to this little outcropping if you want. And from said outcropping you can actually jump into this window so you can breach the second floor. And if you're in there and you're looking for a flanking route or whatever you can jump out onto there and go back up the ladder onto the roof. You can also jump from anywhere on yellow and even through the... Uh, through the windows here and smash in here to land on the second flight of stairs there or it's difficult to do and it's not really that useful but you can land on that little lip there and then jump across onto this lip this little gutter and follow that gutter around and then climb up onto the roof or jump from there down onto this balcony to climb up the ladder and flank up around again There's a bunch of stuff going on with these buildings, and a little bit with the servo, and nothing really in that area. <laughs> and before I go, two general tips that come in handy quite often. Uh, you can jump off any of the red roofed buildings and land on any of the smaller buildings that I've showcased throughout this video uh, without opening your parachute and without dying. So that is quite useful. Aside from one, I don't know why, but this one kills you every time. And if you walk off any of the slightly smaller but aqua blue-green buildings, you can just go all the way to the ground without taking any damage. There's a few of these in East, but there's quite a few of them in Promenade West, and I've used that a thousand times across my 
playtime and have never died. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you later.